I have to excuse a view through the very dirty window. Come to your park under trees and the excited puppies. Look where we are. Back to the old stomping ground. I thought we'd come today and probably this would definitely be our last walk out here. Yeah, this is where I used to do all my daily walks around this new for many years. <laughs> used to walk up here from my house, do the loop we're about to do, and then go around the block, which is what we're going to do. You can tell the puppies recognize this area. A lot of walks he has in their coda. shower and got myself dressed. I just think it'll be funny at the moment, mainly because my hair's still up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still cooling down. I have, well, I thought I'd cool down a bit from, from my walk, but now I'm on my game. So I've just been around the house putting out the dog breakfast. I'm going to have my breakfast now and a cup of tea. Uh, watch some motivating packing videos, no doubt, and then Get started with something. Oh, the first job I actually want to do is the ironing. I want to do my ironing. Oh, bring in the clothes, then do the ironing. It's on my list because I'll forget otherwise what I'm supposed to be doing. And I've got some vegetables here to chop up for the puppies too. And some pasta to cook. I'll probably do the dinner first and then I'll do the ironing. Then I'll probably time for another break and then I'll probably time for some packing. <laughs> oh, I really takes so long, especially when I lose like half an hour to get the dogs out for a walk. But that's just for now. That won't happen soon. Another week or so, or oh, probably another week of, of walks for me. And then 
we'll spoil that half an hour and I can use that half an hour to do some stretching and some strength training and whatnot. Very excited to have my little exercise room and to get my hand works back and just have a space that's mine. I haven't, I meant to check in with you guys, but as Kevin reported the other day, I ticked off three things on this. Well, we'll start it again. <laughs> um, or maybe something different. Um, maybe something takes more than five minutes, we'll see. Maybe that'll be good to start with though, while I'm still doing the house, getting the house sorted. But it's just been hard here, because like I said, okay, the four days when Kevin's not here, but I just feel, I mean, I've exercised in front of it before, it's no real big deal, but you just, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> so, it'd be good to have my own little space that I can go to and do my stretching and yoga and strength training, as I said. In addition to my walk, I might have even said that yesterday, but I wanted to um, update you on the Coco Lime program that is fizzled out yet again, but we will get there. <laughs> <laughs> this has been bad timing all around for that and bad living arrangements here. It'll happen. We'll get there. And yeah, I'll get back into it. But my walks are good. That's good to get my walks and get a bit of strength and my legs, my legs a bit stronger and get a bit of cardio in. So that's that's good. I am so struggling with motivation at the moment. I just don't want to pack. I think it's I don't know. I've already done that this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear anyway i am going to get the dog's dinner on bring in that washing do some ironing and then we'll see how we're going i mean i was hoping to start oh and then maybe i'll put half an hour ago i'm just struggling so we'll do something today and then i'll do more when kevin's here <laughs> yeah Let's see what i can do That little bit maybe a few things in what i've just bought through there's really not much i will go to get done very quickly this is the top i bought for disney it's too big i can't even wear it now well i could wear it maybe with a skirt tucked in it might be okay <laughs> but it's big uh anyway i need to got the ironing on i'm bored geez chewy you don't usually go in there 
it's not the safest maybe. No, I didn't find it. You know, was your score? Goodness. I got missed before breakfast, did it? Why don't you come back out from there? Because I don't want you to trip over and pull this. He walked over it nice anyway. I don't want him to pull the hot iron onto him. I'm going to go to the toilet and then come back and get started. And I might go, oh, not you as well. Oh my goodness. There's nothing left. I think Chewy <laughs> I might go and get my iPad and bring it through and hop on a video. There's a bit of a, I don't know, usually music works, but I don't even want to do my music today. All right, he's going around that way. <laughs> Check the other side. Oh, he scored one. Yay, he scored. He's done. Put away the ironing board. It's got a few things to put away. I didn't iron that. It's one of Kevin's shirts. It's a nice Disney long sleeve one, but he got paint on it. We were painting when he was doing stuff at the other house. So... <laughs> I thought I might put it aside maybe as a, I don't know, if you want to paint off some of a winter painting shirt now, but maybe he'll be doing some other work. I think they're pretty big from anywhere, those shirts, got to try them on. His new pants that he got, we've um, taken up. Of course, like he likes Tommy Bahamas, it's a nice brand for Kevin. Then I didn't think they ever had a sale, so we ordered these last week, they came. Yesterday, of course, they have a 25% sale on now, don't they? <laughs> of course. <laughs> So I might get him to check his other shirts and stuff, get them to put them on and see whether I need to pick him up some things for going to America or we can wait till we go to America and get some stuff over there. They'll have a bigger range available. But he, I'm going to try some things on because I don't know quite what fits him. I think most things are too big, but are they, are they, can you get away with them or do they look ridiculous? Like <laughs> some of my things have ended up looking. I've taken, did I take the top of this out as well? Now the top's still alright, the pants, too big. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> I really like these. They're all so pretty, but they're too big. I'll put them aside. Maybe I can find, maybe when we move, I'll find someone who can run things in or something and I can get things altered. I don't know if it's worth it or not to do that, but maybe for things like this that I haven't really worn much. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of any of my nice stuff from very close for now. As I said, just to make sure that I can maintain the weight loss. All right, I'll get this put away and probably have a cup of tea. I may have just do my I'm not really ready for lunch yet, so I'll have a cup of tea, but I think I'll sit outside because it's another, another beautiful day. It's quite warm. Oh, it's 24 degrees. It is warm. <laughs> That's why I'm warm in here. Okay, I've got a cup of tea. I'm going to go sit outside. Hopefully it's not too windy. And that's why the microphone is on though, because I just came out here to bring some stuff out. Of course, it's not too bad right now, but there are big gusts coming through. Like, you probably can't hear it, hopefully. But there's another one that's coming on through now. So I brought out some blank paper. I'm going to start to make those plans. I think I told you about where I want some things. And maybe like, you know, I'm struggling to get going here. So I thought maybe if I plan out what's still to do, I... I come across somewhere I done that last time so maybe that will help me say okay I can do this part or I can do that part <sighs> got a sore back from the ironing <laughs> I'm just old now aren't I we were not going to be doing this move if you <laughs> I think pretty sure we probably told you after last time packing we said not again <laughs> doing it again just saves a bit of money obviously um I think what we just would have saved what we would have spent I've just probably spent what we would have Spent on moving, packing, moving. I probably just spent, I bought a few things today, but I don't need anything else. I bought, just what I bought for the house, I bought a um, full length mirror. I've bought a new dog bed because I'm not taking these big brown ones that I keep falling over in that room. I nearly fell over again today um, and with my other ankle. <laughs> so I didn't because I kind of fell into the bed, but. I'm not taking them, they're too big and bulky and they're going to look horrible in the room. So the one we've already got with the cactuses on it, I've ordered another one exactly the same. The covers come off, the dogs have been really enjoying lying on them anyway. And then they've got their big fluffy round ones for when it's cold in the winter. I don't quite know where I'm going to put them yet, but uh, for in the lounge room, <laughs> they're going to look great. I did treat myself to some cutlery drawer organisers. I found them for quite a good price somewhere and I ordered two 
and if, I'd love to get a bamboo set but they're just like to get proper bamboo it's really expensive so I've just bought a Joseph Joseph one it's um, they're all modular so you can set it up how you want because our drawers are a funny depth in the kitchen the top ones are only 430 deep and a like usual small narrow cupboard would be 550 450 the 450 or 600 is standard <laughs> and we have not got standard so sorry that is a pretty bird I do not know what he is I better have to get the camera here we go on he's about to go that's because he's going to stay there isn't he how long is he going to stay there for I have seen these birds before wait put you guys down He's still there. Out on the wind. Oh, and then he flew off. I've got a bit of video, but I don't think I've got a good video because he's got like a crown on his head and I don't think I got that in the photo so I to identify him. That bird's I've seen before. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about now? No idea. I guess when I edit this, I'll find out what I was talking about. I'm sure it was just absolutely riveting content. And you'll probably just say that not hear my final thoughts on that matter. Uh, you guys are used to me, I'm sure. All right, I'm gonna a cup of tea and do a bit, a bit of planning. And then later on, I'll try and get a bit more, get a bit of packing done, scanning. That's really all I need to do now. I've done, I did the two sort of extra jobs today, the dog's dinner and ironing. That's okay. It's okay if I don't do anything else. I'll try and pack. But I'll do some planning for packing anyway, which I'm sure will be of a help over the weekend and next week. The wind is still coming in gusts. I thought I'd better pop the microphone back on again at the moment. It's okay. So I have done all that. I've got a list of packing things, sort of for each room, what needs to be done. Help me see what needs to be done now versus what needs to be done later on or close to the moving time. Because I've got to be things Kevin and I can do over the weekend. Number one's going to be that room upstairs, get that sorted out, which is mostly Kevin's stuff. And our travel things, which we've, got, we've kind of, re I, <coughs> oh, sorry, I've kind of already gone through my stuff, so it's mostly Kevin's. Hopefully he will organise it, but knowing Kevin, I don't know what that was about. Speak of the devil. I think that is Kevin. I was just talking about you. <laughs> yeah, not feeling good. I don't know what I was talking about though. <laughs> oh gosh, my memory at the moment. What was I talking about? Well, yeah, we'll get that room done up there. Oh, I was going to say, knowing Kevin, he'll just shove it all into a, the, a box. <laughs> so, but anyway, I've done that. So I can see a bit clearer what needs to be done. Poor oh, Kev, you had a bad day at work yesterday too. And been good for quite a while, but you know. He hasn't got fibro, as far as we know anyway. He hasn't been diagnosed with fibro, but a lot of chronic illnesses are very similar. Anyway, so I did, so I've got my packing, packing to-dos, and then I sat and did like a wardrobe, where, we want, where I think things are gonna go in the wardrobe, just in case someone else is doing that, like my mum and dad, would no doubt come over on Sunday and help us and they, that wardrobe would be something they could perhaps do or at least yeah anyway I thought done that haven't done the shelves because I have no idea on the shelves but I made a list of what's to go on the shelf and again myself or someone else can just pop them on I, eventually I'll get like nice have a nice all coordinating baskets and stuff but who knows when that will happen and then I've done the kitchen as well the kitchen's the hardest mainly that pantry or it's not really going to be a pantry for us. I don't think it's going to be an appliance cupboard. And yeah, we're going to mainly use the pantry area on the end for like tins and stuff. But I made a list of what I think should go in that one. And then my glass paint, glass jars with pantry items will go in probably one of the drawers, like I've got here. And then I just, I just, I've just done a list of what I think should be in there, but I just don't know how it's going to be set out for now until we get some pull out shelves or convert that pantry item the pantry thing and also the, the cupboard in the kitchen i've called it that's great <laughs> i guess it is in the other cupboard 
Oh, sorry, I'm blowing away, blowing away here. Uh, anyway, I might go and get my lunch now and have that. But at least that gives me an idea, or I said if someone's helping with stuff, an idea of where I think things will go, and we can try that out and see how it works. And we're only going to be in this place for four weeks until we've moved things. It's okay, we'll just, like the wardrobe stuff, we can just take Kevin and my stuff and take it out the back, take it out to the, the guest room. Christy will be staying with us a weekend, I think, before we go away sometime. She can use that, but it'll be good because we can just take all our things and put them in that room. She work really easily. In our bathroom, we'll just probably get a tub and put our stuff in a tub, in a thing, and let's leave it for mum and dad to have most of the space. I'm so glad we're minimalist though, so glad, because like I was looking in the bathroom, and it'll be heaps of space for us in the bathroom to have our towels and any extra stuff we have, some toilet paper, and that big cupboard behind the mirror for, like, for all my, you know, creams and stuff and I just have a little bag with makeup in it now it's just going to be so easy anyway <laughs> at least I've got a plan because <laughs> it's hard to but it's like a week and a half or something I don't even know how many days I probably should be counting down days now what are we it's nearly Thursday is nearly over but Friday so we've got seven eight eight full days oh my gosh we move on to day nine <sighs> that's crazy Anyway, that's good to have that done. I'll have my lunch, probably watch some videos. Yeah, that's done. And then I'll do some scanning. Probably get any packing done today. Jeez, I hope Kevin's good over the weekend. We'll be all right. I've got my list now. <laughs> so yeah, I doubt I'll get any packing done today. I'll concentrate more on scanning, I think. So there we go. Because I can only do so much with my back. It gets a bit sore at the moment. So lunch is just that leftover. Asian bow tie pasta again. His full name is Chumaster Brown. Oh, I know. He's got his little legs on, though. You're a cute puppy. <laughs> the is a cute puppy, too. Good morning, everyone. I'm doing a bit of a test with the microphone because Dobby, our little vacuum, is doing his thing at the moment. But... I just had to get up because our groceries just got delivered. Probably our last grocery delivery, probably ever, because we're going to be a five minute walk from the supermarket when we move. And I'll just be able to duck over there and get whatever I need. Oh boy, I am not having a good morning. I'm very, very sore, very fibro sore actually. I am up. I should take some medication to see if that helps because we have things to do today. Um, Hopefully, anyway. I do have things to do. And let's hope I am up to do... I mean, I can do stuff. I can sit down and do stuff. But I am very sore. And it's very hard to do anything besides hang out on the couch when you are in pain. It's not fun. And poor Kev's not having a good time either. He had a bad night's sleep. Just watching Dobby is trying to do the kitchen. He's got a lot of obstacles at the moment to work around. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Kev's not having a good time. So he's gone back to... He was up at 6 o'clock and he never gets up that early. <laughs> Was he's in pain and he couldn't sleep. He had a really bad headache, he said. And a bit of back pain, twinged his back. Probably last weekend, I think. And he, it's been all right, but he twinged it again, I think, in his sleep, so it was a bit sore. Yeah, so we had a sore back, and then he had a really bad headache all over his face, which he doesn't usually get headaches very much at all. Like, I've suffered with them somewhat regularly, but I haven't had them too bad lately, so I shouldn't say that, but it's not unknown for me to have a headache, put it that way. Whereas he very rarely gets some to have one that bad, but he's taken some pain medication, extra pain medication, and he's now asleep. Even the dog, the dog's barked and probably woke him up, but I think he looks pretty out actually. So, oh my gosh, my arms are really sore holding these little lightweight things. Even the microphone, my arms going to be sore. <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be one of those days, I think. But I'll take some medication, and when he's awake, I think we'll go have a bath because baths tend to help me. Supposed to have lunch with mum and dad today, but we might have to cancel today. We we'll see. Kevin wanted to cancel early when he was in, well, feeling so bad, and I said, "Well, it was only like six o'clock." I said, "It's not till maybe it was seven o'clock." I said, "It's not till one o'clock." So you've got five hours. We'll see how you go a bit closer to the time. I don't like to cancel on them. We don't. I don't think we have yet actually. But today could be a first between both of us, with both of us being not good. I can't complain, I've had such a good run, even though I've been very up and down, more up and down lately. 
I think a few of you said I'm probably overdoing things, which I don't feel like I am because I do rest up regularly. You'd never see the rest times. That's why I put the timestamps in because there's often an hour or two in between me doing things. So uh, you don't see me just sitting on the couch <laughs> very much. Sometimes I talk to you on the couch, but obviously I'm not just going to film me sitting there on my computer because that would not be very interesting to watch. Oh boy. All right. I'll get these groceries unpacked. There's not much there. I actually end up buying a $23 box of uh, washing, dishwashing tablets, which I usually buy on sale, but they very rarely go on sale these days. But I thought I'll get them to bump up the, the um, order because you have to spend a minimum of $75. So that was, you know, I didn't have that much to get. I'm trying really hard just to get what we need. I said to Kevin, if we need any extra stuff, you'll just have to get, we'll just have to pick it up from the little local shop that he goes past to and from work every morning or I can duck down not that I'm out so much but I'm out a couple of times a week with dog walks really aren't I I've done half the dishwasher I'll also try and do that I'll try and do a bit of stuff while I'm up before I sit back down and I am going to take that pain medication feeling a little bit better now I'm up and moving around fractionally maybe it's just my brain's not thinking about the pain anyway I've got the washing hung out so that's good Packing situation hasn't changed much, and I've just been washing my fruit and veg while the kettle was boiling for a cup of tea. So I just I don't leave the berries too long, and then I make sure they're totally dry, and they're just really keeping really well. I'll probably make up my chia puddings today. I've got one for today actually. Oh no, I'll probably make them up to the next day. I won't make any up today. We'll have something different tomorrow. And then I'll make them up the next day. But yeah, let's get everything washed. So it's all ready to go. <laughs> take the medication probably an hour or so ago I'm not feeling it any better at all possibly even worse I've just cancelled lunch with mum and dad today because what's something just over two hours we would have lunch Kevin's still asleep I'm still waiting in my bath I might go have a soon anyway I just don't want to I don't have the water running would wake him up because it's so close to the bedroom so we'll see that's like a close the door. We just aren't door closers. <laughs> so I never think of closing doors. The bedrooms or bathrooms. Just don't do it. Not good timing. I don't know. I, what did I do yesterday? I really wouldn't have thought I ever did. I didn't do any packing yesterday, did I? I went for a walk, but it wasn't even... I was saying a 20 minute walk yesterday. 25 minutes. 20 minutes probably. It wasn't as big a walk as the other day. I don't know. Fibro is stupid. I don't want it anymore. Anyway, I'm, you can probably tell I'm lying down on the couch just watching some YouTube. Edited, finished editing the vlog. I put it up, did my thumbnail, put it up. Not how I wanted to spend today. <laughs> I want to get stuck in and get stuff done. Hopefully after my bath. I feel a bit better. Well, Kevin and I still aren't feeling great, but we are going to try <laughs> and get some sorting done up here. We did start the other day, so we'll see how we go. Oh, we've made some progress upstairs. I'll just come outside to sit in the fresh air and cool down. Hopefully you can hear me. I've got the microphone on again. It's a bit breezy still. There's gusts of wind. So we're kind of basically finished. Kevin had a felt sick again like he did yesterday at work something felt really bad so I'm um, having a break I've just put all my jigsaws into one box so they will fit in the box nicely and i did something else well we're calling that the back room the sort of my room exercise room we're going to call it the studio <laughs> we had to come with a name for it so we're going with the studio because it's certainly going to be a very multi-purpose room so I plan to dry clothes and do my exercise, do all my jigsaw puzzles, maybe have the printer in the cupboard. Kevin might play computer games or something out there at some stage. So it's going to be a room that does a lot. <laughs> Sorry, a studio that does a lot. 
So I'm just going to go and try and put that, the fruit away in the kitchen and tidy up the kitchen. I still don't feel good myself, but uh, just the same. Fibro sore. This is the worst fibro day I've had it for a very long time. And usually it's like a half a day, then I'll feel all right. Not today. <laughs> Even though I bath, I was feeling nice in the bath. And once I go to the bath, it's just like, no, it pains back again. <laughs> and I took a medication, didn't do anything. It's okay. Have my bad day today ready for where I'm moving and I'm not going to have a bad day then. So yeah, I'll go and get the, try and get the kitchen sorted out. And yeah, we've got a few more things to donate. Not too much, but yeah, we'll condense travel stuff a bit more and pack it up a bit, bit better. So you still haven't got all her stuff out yet. I wanted to try and get our stuff like piled up together and then her stuff. Uh, on the bed or something so when we come next week we can just bring it all down easily enough because actually I was looking at the photos from what she had here and there's a lot more than what I thought like she had a lot of stuff here that I've just switched out our own stuff for so got a bit to put back if we don't get to doing that before we move it's fine we'll just do it after we'll come back after we move we're not settling we're not officially leaving here till like the 13th so we've got another two weeks yeah, another two weeks after we move out. Okay, I'm going to drink my water and um, get that kitchen, get the food dealt with at least anyway, the berries and stuff. They should be super dry by now because they've been waiting out a long time. Good morning, everyone. I'm back upstairs. Sorry, Coda's making noise, scratching and getting stuff downstairs. So our goal is to clear this room, get all her stuff from under the cupboard the owner's stuff from under the cupboard if you wonder who her is and put it on the bed so when we're ready to redo the kitchen it's easier to do and she's got some baskets of hers over there we might be able to use i thought we'd clear this out get it downstairs get this room done and then we'll work in the bedroom a bit later on so we've got all that done yesterday so it shouldn't take too long we'll just do bits and pieces as we go so we get on so I'll show you the room. I apologize for any heavy breathing on this video, but <laughs> that's hard work. So we've got all those cupboards emptied out now. This is all her stuff to go downstairs eventually. We're just taking down the remainders of our things now. <laughs> okay. And yeah, then we're done up here. And then we'll just have to get the furniture taken down later on. Or we'll do it, maybe we'll see. If we don't get to this before we move out, we can come back and do it later on. At least it's uh, sorted. After <laughs> clearing up upstairs, we are now left with this. <laughs> so I'm going to try and like double stack things. I'll close up some of those boxes so we can stack them up a bit more than what they currently are. And then we can make room for more boxes because obviously by the end of the week, there's going to be a lot more. We're making some progress. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. We have stacked, well, Kevin stacked those boxes. We still have a big mess, but it's going to be messy for the week. Um, I took, actually, there's quite a bit of stuff up the top of the stairs. I took all the donate stuff up. So I must remember, we must donate because there's bags. <laughs> if someone nicks them, it's fine because they're going to get donated anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I did a, two or three trips up the, I did two. <laughs> and that was me then after the two. I'm a bit puffed now because it's been moving around doing stuff. <laughs> I've done put the dog's dinner on. I chopped up some vegetables and they're in the air fryer for my vegetables. And I know just tied up a little bit in the kitchen, brought the washing in, put some of it away. I didn't put it all away because I want to take down the, the um, fabric, uh, what do you, I don't know what they call them, hanging things <laughs> that I've got stuff in in the wardrobe. I'm not sure we'll need them at the new place or have a use for them, but we'll take them and see if they're good in either the spare wardrobe. I don't think we need them there or Kevin's wardrobe. Maybe Kevin can use them because I was not going to hanging space in his study wardrobe. Whew, I'm a bit warm. It's warming up. So I don't know if I mentioned Kevin's going to have a nap now. So I'm having to sit down a little rest again. The work periods are getting shorter and the rest periods are getting longer. But that's okay. Trying to do a bit more this afternoon, not doing lunch with mum and dad. Mum's still not having a good day. And I think Kevin and I, 
I said, we, oh, look, I said we'd go, but I'm a bit relieved we're not going because I'm really getting tired very quick. So I think by the time we are finished for the day, we'll be glad we haven't had to make that excursion. But we're going to check the donate stuff in the shops, the uh, Green Connect, where we donate, is open to three o'clock. So we need to do that. And we have a plan to go to Bunnings on the way home. So maybe Kevin will just go to Bunnings by himself, or we can do that later. Good to get that done today and then tomorrow we don't have to leave the house. I'm still going to keep working. Kevin's, I think, done. But I just don't, like, yesterday was such a... We didn't get very much done yesterday because we were both having such bad days. So we can't say... Like Kevin said, I oh, will get the rest finished next Friday. What if next Friday we're having a bad day like we had yesterday? It's like, yeah, we'd have to do it, but it would be so hard if we're in pain. And then that probably set off a big flare, at least for myself and possibly for Kevin too. So we don't want to, I don't want to approach the end of the week like that. I want to go into it more rested, ready for the unpacking in the other end. But yeah, we'll get a bit more done. We'll get that unit that's in there, back in the wardrobe. Obviously it's not something I'm going to do by myself, so. We will do some more stuff there. But yeah, might edit a video now and work on that. And yeah, I'll just potter, do some things at a time. I don't think the scanning's all going to get done, but that's okay because I haven't done, didn't do any yesterday. Probably won't do any today, but it's okay. We'll just have to set it up somewhere. Um, I'll wait until we come back, so possibly I'll set it up in the guest room and get stuck into it after our trip. So Christy will be coming back for Christmas, so we'll work it out. I've got that room or the studio. <laughs> it could go in. Oh dear. <laughs> Moving, I'll be glad not to have to move for a while, but it's not more depending. <sighs> I don't want to move any time soon after this, but you know. At least every move we have less stuff. There's not a lot to donate. There's a couple of like paper bags, like grocery bags full, a t an old coffee table that I don't know why it was here. It was up in the room, we weren't even using it. And my old desk chair that I had in the kitchen. Um, I think I was using it here and then kept Christy when she was here wanted a more supportive back one so Kevin bought one of them home from work. So I've got that to use now. Don't know how it's going to look because you're going to see it first as soon as you walk in the door but hopefully it's okay. If not, yeah, we'll get a cover for it or look for a new chair eventually. I know those chairs are worth a lot and they're good supportive chairs. Oh, I've got a bit of a headache too. <laughs> recommend I mean we would already downsized a lot and got rid of a lot of stuff make sure you are only moving what you absolutely need to move when you move because it's still going to be a lot well we're back at Bunnings with the puppies to get some more <laughs> boxes and packing supplies we tried to drop off the donations but the donation plate was quite nice too he's walking beside Kevin I've got Kato he's walking on just probably because he wants to catch up to his brother but he's still not walking bad but Chewie's walking really good I've been so good. <laughs> Got a bit of stuff. Here I sit. Over there getting some more boxes. You've been very good boys. Well, I apologise. It is, um, well, it's well into Sunday afternoon. Been a bit of a, just get stuck in and get things done day so we can be finished, but don't think we're going to be finished anytime soon. Kevin's just gone out to get some lunch. He wanted to have, uh, Selena go. He calls it Selena Gomez. It's a <laughs> oh, well, now I can't think of the name. Cause my gosh, see, it's Kevin's fault that I start calling things the wrong thing. Guzman and Gomez, I think it was something like that. Oh gosh, Kevin's so naughty. He likes, I think it's obviously an autistic thing, changing the names of things and and people. He does the same thing and making up YouTube channel names. And I've just got to keep track of everything and then not call it the wrong thing, like calling that Selena Gomez. <laughs> anyway, he's going to get some Mexican for lunch, let's say. And I'll just show you where we're up to. The poor place, it's like a bomb's gone off in here. Mm, especially since he got all his alcohol out. So this is all the alcohol that we brought here. I don't think he's drunk hardly any because he doesn't drink alcohol very often. Now it's going to get all packed up and taken to the next place. Anyway, that's a Kevin thing. I don't drink alcohol, so. 
He needs some friends to help him drink it, I think. We uh, did, as you can see, the cubes unit is gone. We've um, Kevin defrosted the freezer earlier today, took it outside, and it's all defrosted, and we've got stuff back in there. But again, you can see it's not super, super full. It's all full enough. So, oh, yes, yeah, so that was up there, and then, yeah, okay. That's stuff for Mum. So we're starting to put, I've been putting things for other people in this room. So there's puzzles for... I think Athena containers and stuff that puzzles for Athena and containers for the kids to sort through what they want and their puzzles that Christy wanted I think the only one puzzle no one wanted so it's gone to donate so I haven't done anything else in the kitchen today besides um make a mess it's going to be dealt with this afternoon it's an empty box we're starting to put the empty boxes outside actually I'll do that this one just to keep things a bit under control so that's stuff I've still got to scan, so I should take that back in the other room. In here, so I put all the travel stuff in that tub. Uh, you can see, remember yesterday, I think we had tub up, up here. <laughs> We've condensed it down into there. This has got um, storage organisers and some rain jackets, so this is going to be front entry organiser stuff. When I label it, and this is our first aid stuff, we went through that. A few things had expired, so we're able to get rid of. I've still got, actually that's what I should do now is make up our medications for the week. Oh well, well Kevin's gone, I'll do that. And yeah, I've got more boxes to, to assemble. I'll get him to do more this afternoon. So this was the shoe organisers that I was using. So I'll, I'll get them neatly together and we'll donate them because I won't be needing them in the new place. And what, we did some stuff in here. Kevin went through his bedside drawers, so they are empty now. The safe was in one of them. So he's emptied that drawer, I believe. And in usual Kevin fashion, it just got all dumped into another box for him to do with later. He's not very good with it, just gets overwhelmed. It's like, I just dump it. I'm going to try and help him sort when we move. <laughs> so he's just got bits and pieces, a few bits there that he needs for the week. And yeah, you can see I've pulled out, oh, that's where our first aid stuff was. It was there. I uh, pulled out some of our underwear stuff that we're not needing and then packed up all my pyjamas and stuff. I don't know where the box for that went, but it's there somewhere. And obviously the weather's going to turn cold again, so I've had to keep some winter ones and some summer ones. Her cubes I need to open at some stage and put them back in here. Yeah, I think that's where we're up to. Yeah, I'm <laughs> we're storing suitcases and tubs in here now. <laughs> the suitcase is quite a bit in the road but I'll, uh, I'm going to bag our clothes like I did with the garbage bags to move here and then we'll put them in there for transport so I think you're kind of up to date oh, so we have got some of Tom on Friday with Kevin so I'm going to get Kevin to do that this afternoon definitely build me some boxes I mean I can watch the boxes I just don't like doing it we have got some out here and I had wanted to get that we can do it next Friday, her unit, and I want to clean mine. Or maybe I'll do it at the same time, actually. I can probably do hers and mine. And all her cushions are upstairs, so. Oh, it's been a beautiful afternoon, but windy still. Hoping for some nice weather during the week. I think the first couple of days are going to be warm and be able to enjoy out here. Yeah, I believe like, we're going to have nice weather Monday and Tuesday, so hopefully get outside a bit. But again, I've got to pack, so. Maybe my rest time can be outside. We'll see. I'll get some time out there for sure. But nothing else. I'm going to clean up those tables and chairs. I know there's a lot of leaves and stuff through them because I haven't done them the whole time we've been here. Yeah, and that's supposed to turn cold. So I think Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. No, Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to be cold and rainy. Originally it was Saturday was going to rain. At the moment there's no rain forecast for Saturday. So fingers crossed that stays the case. All right. I'll go do my medication refills, refills for the week and then Kevin will probably back with lunch and it's time for our family chat. Actually Kevin will be lucky to be back by then. I can't if he's getting me lunch as well because at one stage I didn't want it but I think I do now. Oh no, his present got me something a bit, a bit in order for me. I'll ask him. I can make something here quite fine. <laughs>